Hooked a dozen, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, there we go. Cool. So, my name is Spencer Barron. I'm the co I'm the founder of uh, Kai Life Tech. This is one of my co-founders, Preston. Um, and I'm also a father, which is probably the more important of the two. Um, I'm a father of five children. It's okay. I'm from Utah. It's totally cool. <laughs> um, but I had my own experience. I, I, I want to focus for just a second on one of my children, Kimball. Kimball was my first son and my third child. Um, and we were at a, at a 4th of July parade when he was about two years old in a crowd of 30,000 people. And Kimball walked into that crowd while we were looking the other way and disappeared. Um, and it took about five minutes to find him. That was a, that was a terrifying experience. When, when your child is lost, every single moment feels like an eternity. Um, the reality, though, is that 350,000 children are lost every year in the U.S. alone for more than an hour. That's a lot of moments. Um, in fact, nine out of 10 parents in this room will lose track of a child before they turn six years old. So it's no wonder that parents are looking for solutions to help keep track of young children in public crowded places. But there are only so many solutions they can turn to. Uh, a physical leash, placing a, a monkey backpack leash on their child, which my wife refused to do. She didn't, she didn't want to be that parent. Um, GPS is unreliable indoors and on cloudy days and sometimes in the city because kids don't move like cars, and two-year-olds can't answer a cell phone and tell you which clothing rack they're hiding under in the target store. Um, and then there's Bluetooth, which is the most promising option, but can be less than a perfect solution, only alerting a parent when a child's too far away to locate in the first place. So that's why we invented Kaiban. Kaiban is mobile boundaries for kids that actually work when they're supposed to. And the reason they do is because of my other co-founder who's not here, which I wish he was because I think he would get along with a lot of people in this room. Um, he's an electrical engineer, a very, very smart person who was studying uh, multi-path fading in his graduate degree, which doesn't mean anything to me. It probably means something to a lot of you. Um, but it, to Jordan, my co-founder, it means that we can measure proximity 12 times better than the competition and allow parents to set boundaries that alert when they're supposed to, about every four feet instead of 50, indoors and out. Um, and that's what's driven the success of our company, why parents of kids like Kimball, parents of kids with special needs, malls, daycares, schools, are banging down our doors to get a hold of Kaiban. That's why Target is piloting us in 200 stores this year with our first product, um, which is pretty unheard of, why Best Buy and Bye Bye Baby are interested in getting on board. Um, that's why we have four million in earned media during this spring. Um, but without all of that said, I mean that's that's who we are and what we do. But we'll just show you what it does because that's more interesting. <coughs> the way Kaiban works. This is our beta version. We've had this in testing for about uh, four or five months with a couple hundred users, um, and that informed the final production design that we've uh, just okay tooling for in Shenzhen this last week. Um, and we'll be in Shenzhen in April to supervise production of that device. So the way it works is you can see parents set the, can set custom perimeters anywhere from near to far. It's very easy to see where the setting is. And when the band gets too far away, it'll alarm. <laughs> and so will the phone. <laughs> And then when he comes back, Preston will come back. <laughs> then it'll disarm by itself. <laughs> so that's how it works. Young children, two to four, five years old, um, particularly for places like the mall, vacations. Uh, the new version of Kaiban that just is, is going into production in the next couple weeks is waterproof, up to one meter, so you can take it to the beach. <clears throat> Uh, the pool, splash pad, and protect, prevent a young child from wandering away in a public crowded place, places where GPS doesn't work and the kids can call you on the phone and play with ass. So that's what we do. I'll open it up to questions. Yeah? Any feedback on whether or not it's difficult to even have 
convince your kid to keep that on his wrist or her wrist? Yeah, that's a great question. I have a two-year-old that loves it. She wears it all day whether we're using it or not. Um, but not every kid is that way. We, we have some parents whose children play with it constantly or take it off. There's a lot of different options for how they can apply that. They can put it on a belt or a backpack or in a pocket. Um, though the best application is on the wrist, so we also have different bands that they can use. A watch band that buckles, or even a classic band that the child can't remove. The only the parent can remove. Great question. Yeah. Uh, battery life and how many devices can it be? Can you connect? Yeah. So this will do 200 hours of use with this uh, button cell battery, which is user replaceable. The user can just twist it and replace it, which will last you a whole Disneyland vacation for a week. Um, if you're just using it intermittently, it'll last you for months. Um, and then your second question was uh, how many how many uh, devices? So an iPhone can monitor up to 10 of these oh. at a time, um, but we can also mesh network them together. So you can monitor theoretically an unlimited number of devices, but we don't have that in, in practice yet. So I'll just say it'll be ready. Yeah. And does it also get the location of that kid, like how far and the time of the Yeah, so we can, we can tell you last known direction, um, but that takes a lot of battery because we have to be constantly monitoring the attenuation, the body attenuation of the parent to know which direction uh, the device was last in. The real value in locating them quickly is the alarm on the band itself. Now these beta versions are about 75 decibels. The new version is 95 decibels, so it's quite a bit louder and you're actually able to audibly locate it in most scenarios within 15 to 20 feet, which is about the maximum you're gonna let a two-year-old go anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go over this side. So on the note of that battery, is there any, so with my three-year-old, is there any way if I lose track of the 200 hours or you know, what happens if I get near my... <laughs> yeah, it'll tell you. So our chip, can, yeah, our chip can monitor the battery life and can tell you when it's starting to get low and then you need to replace the battery. Um, what's your marketing strategy? for this, just getting, how are you going to sell them? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. We have about 4,000 people waitlisted to purchase the product that have come to us organically. Wow. Um, press is our highest converting channel, but earned media is difficult to, count, to uh, plan for. Um, so we also use digital marketing, which we have fairly good conversion rates in the early stages with this beta version. Um, and then ultimately our marketing uh, is or our marketing strategy is to own the distribution channels. Um, moms love Target. They love to shop there. It's becoming a social thing for them. Mm -hmm. um, and being in that space and having shelf space in that channel is key to uh, product discovery with that demographic. Retail price? Forty nine ninety five. One time, no subscription. Um, Add-on features will occur later in the application. Software add-on features that you can purchase. For example, monitoring multiple devices. Or iOS and Android? iOS, yes. Android always beta. Um, yeah, Android, yes. But it's, especially with low energy Bluetooth, it's, it's difficult if anyone has ever tried to do that. But yeah, it works. You said Target is uh, piloting in 200 stores. Mm -hmm. What's your online strategy? Um, direct to consumer and Amazon, though Amazon we're somewhat wary of. Um, we've been cautious about that. We've seen competitive products launch in this space, though uh, we know that they're not as sophisticated as, our, as ours is. They launch with two-star reviews and or very quickly become two-star uh, products on Amazon and their brands die out very quickly. We don't want that to happen to us. Um, so we spent a little more time on and money on development, but we're also being very cautious about that channel and how we launch some other other questions. Last question, if there is one. Are you going to be able to software add directionality beacons? Yep, yep. We're going to be able to software add directionality beacons. We also um, are in the process of acquiring an, an indoor navigation company um, that has a consumer uh, set up a whole indoor navigation system that will couple with this and allow you to do it at home as well. Thank you very much. while our third presenter gets uh, set up, um, I wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, something we do after the presentations. So uh, once the fourth presenter uh, gives their 10 minute presentation, 
We're going to have something called shout-outs or community announcements. 